Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle and we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature Russia have chosen to line up 5-4-1 here, it seems. Well, a reinforced rear guard, Peter, and a compact midfield probably suggests that they're focusing much on giving very little away. I think if you commit to that, then you really can't afford to concede because it clearly demands a quick change in approach if you do, which isn't always easy because in the build-up to this, believe me, they'll have been working principally on organisation and shape and training. And it's not easy just to suddenly come out of that. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. of good defending and indecisive passing no progress and it's played forward Golovin is on to it and can take it up plenty waiting in the middle Golovin a really good feat over to the left oh sweet feet oh well played he needed to get that right out on the left now delivers the ball and it's Kuchka oh that's neat Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Forward it goes. Has gone out. Kuchka. Oh, he's in! Here it comes. Knocks it away. Defending of the desperate variety. Juba. Lovely bit of skill there. Golovin. Cleared away. And it's half-time here. So the other team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. But still goals. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. And we are underway again. Well, the first half didn't really produce the goals we'd have liked. Hopefully they've been safe for the, the second. For that to be the case, though, we'll need to see more energy and invention early on. 
Gets his foot in there. Whistle's gone, that's uh, foul. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach, and it may just freshen things up. Cooper Chan. And here's Hamshik. Hamshik plays it out to the flank. Few chances to talk of Jim. Defences, it seems, on top here. Yes, nil-nil and little promise of a goal due to the shot shy nature of this contest, but I'm not giving up on it. There's plenty of energy on the pitch, not to give up hope just yet. Kuchka. Play for a throw. Ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Skriniar plays it forward. Kuchka. And the shot! It's off target and by quite a way. Uh, it was the first touch to die for, and it set him up beautifully. <laughs> he checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts, because he has put in a real honour shift. Cut. As scoreless games go, I'd be happy to see this one carry on a bit longer because it's had great honesty and hard work and total commitment. As for a possible winner, I'm still not predicting. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. There's going to be another change here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Into stoppage time, and it is still goalless. Juba, and now the breakaway. 90 minutes up, and we will be back for extra time. Well, Nil-Nil doesn't offer a fair reflection of what we've seen. The game's been vibrant, I think the atmosphere has remained buoyant, and we just need the score to, to step into line. Well, fitness and fatigue, the key factors now as we head for extra time. Into extra time we go. Jikia. That's a throw. To the right. Tries to get it clear. 
more than happy to take the muscular approach. Half time, extra time. Well, I think for both sets of players now, fatigue becomes your biggest opponent. You know, when the body gets tired, the mind usually goes with it. Concentration levels are difficult to manage now. And so the last chance to find a winner. It's been cagey for this long. Will the last 15 minutes be any different? Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Just brushed off the ball there. Do they stick or twist? Caution or risk? You know, what will they rue more? I think it'd be... A cautious mindset they'd regret more from me, so I'd like to see them try and go and win this. Slovakia really have been alive to interceptions and picking off any loose balls. It really is now or never. They need a goal however it comes. And that's it. Nothing to separate them. It is penalties. Yeah, I think both defences will receive the plaudits for respective clean sheets, but the players have run and worked to the point of exhaustion, so nobody will be questioning their appetite to, to get it won. Well, after two long hours, it comes down to nerve, to technique under pressure, to penalties. Right on the edge. Feel the moment. So the ball is placed on the spot. So the first penalty. And he's found the net. Yeah, it's a guessing game for the keeper and he gets wrong. Cooley done, what each. Always a little more pressure when you're trailing, but it didn't show. So, the second man in line. Oh, what a save! He was so focused there, fantastic save. So, the second man in line. It's in, too smart for the keeper. Brilliantly done. Never took his eye off the keeper either. Looks like he's done it a thousand times. Never looked like missing. The third man in the queue. And he sticks it away. Well, he strolled up and struck that with great confidence. That's a superb spot kick. Oh, it's a tame penalty, straight at the keeper. Oh, that was right down the keeper's throat, and it was an easy save to make in the end. This to double their advantage. No, he's hit the crossbar! Oh, that's so unlucky to hit the goal frame. Russia have to score, or they have had it. Oh, it's been saved! And that's it! So, in the end, heartbreak. A few of them inconsolable. But this is what footballing fate had stored up for them. It is nasty. Oh, this is so tough on the penalty taker as the heroes celebrate. Right now, it's a horrible...